Hey, Jupiter. Girl out there, they say she's your daughter. She insists on seeing you. She can't possibly be my daughter. I haven't had sex since 1995. Not in this country, at least. Not her. Me. I'm your daughter. What year were you born? You are my father, Jupiter. I wrote you like 20 times, but even when mom died, you didn't answer. You know, I didn't have enough money to bury her. That was really fun. Hey, don't blame me. I didn't kill her. Oh, no, you had help. <laughs> it's a stupid thing to say. OK, what do you want? Money? I wanted Gracie to meet her grandpa. Hi. And yes, we need money to survive. Look, sweetheart, from 68 to like 72, I had five kids, maybe more. Well, uh, half the people in that room could be my kid. It's a running joke around here. How are you going to feel when you wake up one day and find out that your daughter is dead? And you didn't do anything to help? <laughs> you're good. The kid's a sweet touch, too. But you're not the first one to think of this gig, especially since that article in Fortune. So listen, I'll give you the same thing I gave the other three, six bucks, enough to buy a sandwich. A few, I'll make it 12. Make sure you buy the kid a sandwich, too. You know, I believe this originally <clears throat> belonged to you. Pawn it, since you're so hard up. I'm sure it's worth more than 12 bucks. This is the best we can do. Okay, we're fine. Thanks. Who are all these people? They're kind of friends of friends of Phil. lost my birth certificate. Dear Slim, yesterday three men threatened to kill me if I helped you in any way. Fortunately for you, this aroused my interest. But she may also. I'm sending this to an old address, the diner where you worked. 
If this reaches you and you need more, leave word at my office. Jupiter. Maybe that's it.